Hello, welcome to Lift and X. I am Libby, and today we're, I have a very special treat for you, starring this little guy. I have, but I, um, sorry, I'm gonna put you on the bed over there. Thank you. Um, I, a couple years ago, I always wanted to write a children's book, but I never knew what it was about. Then I decided I'll make a children's book based on one of my childhood video games, Rapper the Rapper. Like, see, here's the the cover. Maybe if I turn off the light, it would like not reflect as much. Yeah, it's in a. See that? If you can see that, fine. Like, um, retold and illustrated by me. Like, and I wrote based on the legendary PlayStation video game by Rodney Greenblatt and and Masaya Masu Masura Sua. Basically telling, telling everybody that. And I even have a disclaimer right here. Disclaimer from me. I am just retelling the story of the of the Parappa the Rapper video game. I take no credit for the story or character design. The full complete credit goes to the creator of Parappa the Rapper, Rodney Greenblatt and Masaya uh, Matsura. I don't I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. And you can see it better over here. Um I do not own the rights of Parappa the Rapper. Think of this book as a fan fiction and collection of fan art. So, yeah, please keep that in mind. Just please keep that in mind. And this is the secondary cover. See the little, the little frog. It's, it's in plastic. And of course, same thing, based on a legendary video game by Rodney Greenblatt and Masa, and Masaya and Matsura, and retold and illustrated by me, Libby. And oh, uh, there's the scene when they were at the one fast food joint. Let's see if I can read it from here. In a small city called Parappa Town, there was a group of teenage friends. A cool cat named Katie, a hungry bear named PJ, a gentle-hearted Daisy named Sunny, and a shy daydreamer of a pup named Parappa. See? Parappa, Sunny, Katie, PJ. They all went, went to the movies, then had lunch at the Chunky Burger. While Sunny was ordering her food, Parappa watches her dreamingly. Well, there she is, he thought to himself, the girl of my dreams. She looks really beautiful today. He was so focused on, on her beauty that he did not realize that it was his time to order. Uh-oh. Without thinking, he just ordered water. So, but I did draw a little bit like water. And then there he is like going, hmm, with the tray of water. All right, next page. Oh, the bullies. <laughs> I didn't do a bad job drawing the bullies. I know some of the characters were quite a challenge to draw. Let's see. Out of nowhere, these two bullies barged in. They wanted to eat the boys, at least PJ's, food and, and were flirting with the girls. Sunny was starting, was starting to get scared, which upset, which upset Parappa. He wanted to say something, but the only thing that came out of his mouth was a roar of his empty stomach. Is that even possible? Well, whatever. It, uh, nice Joe Chen. See, look at that Joe Chen. Very nice. Very nice Joe Chen. Have no fear, said a heroic voice. Joe Chen is here! The girls looked so relieved that Joe arrived. He distracted the bullies with an in introduction that went went on almost forever. The what is that? The four. What is that? It got folded. The four friends. There we are. The four friends got got bored and all went and all went home except except for Parappa. And there he is at the bottom. Boy, thought Parappa, it sure would be nice it, to become a hero. I would have taken those two guys, 
those two guys myself. But how in the world could I do that? How in the world can he do that? Hmm. Let's see what he thinks. Yeah, yeah, he exclaimed. I know. I gotta believe. See, look, 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 look. So cute. Sorry if you can't see the pictures really well. So Parappa decides to go to a small karate lesson from the famous martial artist Master Anin. Three main skills that Parappa had learned from Master Anin were kick, chop, punch, kick, chop, punch, kick, chop, punch, kick, chop, punch. Oh, I did something a little bit because Master Anin doesn't wear shorts. But hey, it looks good on him. And up there's the four friends again. And Joe Chin again. See, look at him. All right. The next day, the four friends all went, all went to Fat Donut, and all and all got ice cream cones. Ice cream cones at a place called Fat Donut. Hmm, whatever. It's a great day, said Parappa. You guys want to go to the beach? Sure, said Katie. But none of us have a car or license to go anywhere. As soon as they knew it, Joe Chin Chop. Stopped by showing off his new and expensive convertible. Hi, he said in a smooth voice. Do you guys like my new car? Man, said, said by amazed BJ. It's cool and nice color, too. I know, isn't it? snarled Joe. It, it, could, it could do amazing stunts, too. Oh, a car. He looks at the girls and asks, You two want to go to the beach with me? Sunny and Katie shrugged their shoulders. Sunny asked Joe, Could Parappa and PJ come too? Sure, said Joe, as long as they sit in the back. Yep. Oh. Bye, Mama Live the next. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. Um, she's out shopping. And up. Those look more like Cheerios than donuts. See? I'm sorry if you can't see it very well because it's in the plastic. And there's Prep and Sunny in the car in space! Alright. Prep and PJ had, had a seat all the way in the back, which was actually miles away from the front seat. Oh no! Where Joe and the girls were from where Joe and the girls were from the front seat where Joe and the girls were seated. When Joe put the car in reverse, by mistake he backed into the wall and the fat donut a fall of the fat donut, creating a hole and leaving donuts all over the back seat. At least PJ was thrilled about that. Yeah, because PJ likes to eat. In case you don't know the game of Parappa the Rapper. PJ likes to eat. Um Boy, thought Parappa, if only I had a car and a license to drive, I could take Sunny where our hearts desire, but I'm too young and, and know nothing about driving. How can I pull that off? And then, yeah, he says as he takes a bite of the donut, I know, I gotta believe. There, I think that picture's so cute with him eating the donut. And up, next stage, next stage. Okay. After an unenjoyable trip to the beach, Parappa heads to the driving center to take his driver's license test with Ms. Mussolini. I know I kind of created her a little bit, drew her a little bit different than the game. I, she taught him to step on the gas and brakes, stop and turn, uh, stop and turn all the signals. To the left and to the right. Stop and turn the signals to the left and to the right. That's. Grandpa got so nervous that he forgot to remind Miss Mussolini to close the door. Thank goodness he passed the test and earned his license. I actually liked how I drew Miss Mussolini. Like I actually made her look a little more feminine than he than she does in the game. 
like when I first saw her, I thought she was a guy. So <laughs> until like opened up her mouth and it's like and saw that she was wearing a skirt, I was like, oh, you're a woman. <laughs> Ah, there's Parappa driving the car and his dad running. Ah! And his driver's license. The next day, Parappa decides to take his dad's car out for a spin. The one mistake that he made is that he didn't get his permission. Uh oh. When his dad had found out, out that that his boy baby that his baby boy has taken his car he started to run a few blocks down the street yelling you only got your license yesterday what are you doing then as soon as he knew it parappa had left his sight uh -oh. <laughs> look at parappa trying to be smooth look at parappa trying to be smooth with the girls like hey and then them all right in the car. Um, Parappa heads to to the fat donut to pick up the the ever free. Oh, I I just noticed PJ was asleep. <laughs> I just noticed that it's not drawn really good, right there. Pick the the ever free. Hi, he says as hi as he he says as he imitates Joe from the other day. Yeah, I remember that scene from the game. That was great. Let's go for a ride. And then, yeah, they're riding in the car, having fun. Woohoo. Looks like he's daydreaming. And then, what's this? They're in space? Let's see. Let's see. They were riding. They, they were riding in that car for hours and hours with no specific place they wanted to go. Parappa was also doing a lot of driving tricks. Everyone was having fun except for PJ, who was missing out by sleeping in the back seat. Hmm. Bummer. You know, said Sunny, it would be very nice if this ride goes on forever and it goes somewhere far away. Then that got Parappa daydreaming about kissing Sunny by the sunset. Aww. Honk! But this daydream turned into a nightmare when, when the sound of Sunny's kissing lips turns into the honking of a nearby heavy load truck. Parappa ended up hitting the truck and sending the car into outer space. Surely that is not, not what Sunny meant by going somewhere far away. Katie thought it was cool and started to take pictures. Yep, there they are in space. Oh, I love this picture. Like, Parappa, like, found dumbfounded with pieces of the car, and I love that picture of the dad. I, I, there was a time that I wanted to put that on a shirt. That's how much I love that picture. I wanted to put it on a shirt. Everyone was, was all right when the car turned, returned to Earth, except for for the car which broke into pieces. Parappa was shocked and embarrassed of what had happened to his dad's old car. Oh no! thought Parappa with, with disbelief. Dad's really gonna be upset with me. He could just imagine him saying things like, I still have have a lot of payments on that car. What am I going to tell your mother of our of our baby boy has done? You better find a good way to pay up. How am I going to pay for the car for all the damages and the payments for the car? Oh no! I can't even afford that! How could someone as young as Parappa afford that? Oh! <gasps> yeah! He exclaims, I know! I gotta believe! And there he is working at the flea market. Looking at the flea market in the rain or in the snow, got the got the funky flow. Yeah, Parappa found a job as a salesman at a flea market owned by by a relaxed frog called Prince Flea Swallow. Is that how you pronounce it? This flea market. This flea market sold hats, rugs, toilets, toy toy trucks, and even skunks. Ooh. 
don't know if I want to buy a skunk. Maybe a skunk doll, maybe. The key is love in the rain or in the snow. You've got to have that funky flow. And there he is. Parappa holding the skunk and holding the pizza. Parappa and was Flea Swallow's best employee because for the first time, everything in the market was sold thanks to Parappa. Flea Swallow gave him not only enough money to fix the damages and payments for his dad's car, but also got himself his own car. Whoa! That much money from a flea market? I better start working on a flea market. I'm actually looking for a job right now. I'm, I'm actually looking for a job right now. Right now I applied for either a Halloween store and a, I applied for a Halloween store and a, um, and a dollar store. So yeah, I'm gonna be getting a job soon. Um, okay, next one. There's three of them eating donuts. Oops, eating donuts and Parappa looking at cakes. Let's see what this is all about. Meanwhile, Katie had invited Parappa and PJ to the Fat Donut for, for the planning of Sunny's birthday party. They all decided who does what, what with a quick game of rock, paper, scissors. Katie got, got in charge of the, the decorations. PJ gets gets to buy the present, and Parappa gets the cake. So then, they all went to, to do their job for tomorrow's party. So Parappa heads to the bakery to find Sunny a perfect cake for her birthday. He picks up the cutest cake the bakery had to offer. He paid every cent and dollar he had to pay for the cake. And, uh-oh, Joe's back. Joe's back with a huge cake. And there's Parappa with the box of the little cake. Looking, aw. Right when he left the bakery, he heard a voice that said, Hey, uh, hi, uh, Parappa. He turned to the voice and saw that it was Joe Chin with a huge and expensive looking cake. Tomorrow's the big day, isn't it? asked Joe. Check out check out this cake I got for Sunny. Each layer symbolizes a beautiful thing about Sunny. I'll explain each and every layer at the party. See ya. And in the game he explained it all by was all fast forward. Like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Aww, I feel so bad for him in this next picture. Oh, he's so sad, and he got cake over him, and Katie's angry, and he's covered with cake, and he's thinking, what could he be thinking? Okay, let's see. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. As Joe was leaving, he pushed Parappa down, having him squishing the cake that he had bought for Sunny. Oh, no! He got covered with, the cake, with cake and icing as his eyes got filled with tears. I'm starting to feel so bad for him. Knowing that the cake that he spent every penny on for Sunny was destroyed, it breaks his heart. Oh. Parappa could just see how angry Katie could be. He could also be heard her yelling, How can we have a birthday party without a cake? I need a I need to get a new cake, Parappa thought to himself, but I don't have any money. I need something cheap. 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 Cheap cake. Huh, <laughs> got a Walmart. <laughs> Actually, I can bake, so I probably could make a cake. Oh, I like this picture of him. Oh, can't really see. Yep. Them looking like frosting, and there's the chicken from the kitchen. And there he is, starting to cook. Yeah, he says as he licks the icing off his thumb. I know, I gotta believe! So when Parappa got home, he turned on the cheap, cheap, the chick, the cooking chicken show. Looking for him, he is planned to make a prune cake. I know in the game it was seafood cake, but I fought for children and they were going to go, Ew! So I said prune cake. And most of them don't know that seafood. I don't want to spoil it yet. Not quite yet. 
she taught him to put the ingredients in the bowl, put the cake in the oven, and clean the pile. And off there's Sonny's cake. As soon as he knew it, the prune cake was done. Then he decorated the cake and it was ready for Sonny's birthday. Thank goodness that was it, Angra, he said to himself before he leave. And up, here's the party! Oh, look at Parappa eating the cake. Hey, save some. I'm surprised it wasn't PJ, but hey, Parappa, save some for everyone else. And he goes. Cakes, the tree, the decoration, Katie. Let's see. The next day was Sunny's birthday party. They had an, an, an amazing picnic in the park. Everybody was enjoying themselves. They even enjoyed the prune cake that Parappa had made. He was surprised how good it tasted. He could not stop eating it. In fact, he ate more slices of cake than PJ did. That was a first. Yeah, that is a first. All right, and there's aw, there's him and Sunny sitting on the hill. But then, oh, oh no, what's going on with Parappa? What's going on? All right. Eventually, Katie and PJ left, and it was just Parappa and Sunny to themselves. He also promised to drive her home. Sunny wanted to watch the sunset, so she asked Parappa if he could stay to watch it too. Of course, he would not say no to Sunny. So they sat on the small bank watching the sunset. Everything was fine until. Oh. That was Parappa's stomach telling him that he had way too much prune cake. If you know what prunes do, keep that in mind what prunes do. And. Oh, there he is holding his stomach. There's a toilet. There's him driving the car swing and a gas station. Let's see what's going on. Okay. How long is this video? I don't care. <sighs> no, why now? Thought Parappa. My chance was sunny, but I have to go to the bathroom really bad. The last thing that he wants to do is to have an accident in front of Sunny. Ooh, don't want that. He looked around trying to find find the distraction from his full tank. He thought he would he would own he would be own. It would be okay until the birds turned into flying toilets. Are you okay, Parappa? asked Sunny. I think it's getting late, said Parappa. Let's head home. Sunny agreed, and they both went to Parappa's car. Even though they were in the car, Parappa still needs to keep his mind on the fact that he has to go to the bathroom, so he decides to turn on some music. But it made things worse because the songs were about letting things go and relaxing then he glances at, at his full meter and notices that what did I work that that his car is running out oh, there we are that his car is running out of gas I'm full of gas said Parappa by mistake I mean my car is out of gas so we need to stop for some so then he nods to the idea but Parappa got really embarrassed of that slip at least he didn't do do another slip. Yep, don't want to pass gas in front of Sunny. Luckily, he found a gas station in less than five minutes. Parappa quickly parks his car next next to a station and runs into and runs in. Oh, there he is, sweating, and there's all the teachers with all their type faces, and then him. Spoiler, him relaxing on the toilet. Um, unfortunately, once he came in, he notices a long line for the one per for a one-person bathroom. Oh, I hate one-person bathrooms. <sighs> Especially like if you thought you locked in and you didn't, and someone comes in and you <laughs> don't like that. They all had to go as bad as he did. Oh dear, said Parappa. Now whatever shall I do? So he just decided to hold it in and wait 
It weighed just like everyone else, but he had thoughts coming to his head as as he sweat and his face tr turning almost blue. Those thoughts were, punch the door or I'll fall to the floor. Did you check the toilets on the left and right? In the rain or in the snow, you got that funky floor. It's all yours. Yeah, that's that's everybody. And then Parappa sitting on the toilet. Not, not much. You just you don't really see much. You just see the back of the toilet in Parappa. It was finally Parappa's turn to use the bathroom. This is life, he sighed with relief. Why? There's Parappa with Sunny and Parappa on the Parappa and TV on the phone. What's going on here? Meanwhile, Sonny was was still waiting in the car for Parappa to return. Then he did Sonny did pump his car and got, got into his seat. Sonny, thank goodness, he said. Sorry to keep you waiting. Where have you been? asked Sonny. You would not believe how long the line was for me to pass gas, Parappa mistakenly said. I I mean pay for it, I guess. At least Sonny shrugged off his mistake. She was pretty sure that he was. She was pretty sure what he was doing, but fortunately, she did not. She did not care. Aw, oh, that is so sweet. I'm sorry, this thing popped up. The next day, Parappa got got an invitation for an all-age dance club called Club Fun. They had heard that he had a hobby in rapping and would like him to perform with MC King Kong Mushi. Parappa accepted the invitation, then then he called PJ to see if he could be his DJ and PJ agreed to. Then Parappa calls Katie and Sonny to see if they could watch him before. They both said that they could. Katie already had a ride, so so it was up to Parappa to take Sonny to the club. Up oh, there's Sonny and her dad, who is a flower pot. There's that's a good picture of Sonny and Parappa saluting, and this little poster for fun. All right. When Parappa arrived at at Sonny's house, he got to meet her father, General Potter. Who happens to to be a strict military man? He made Parappa promise to take Sonny back home before midnight. Parappa salutes General Potter to seal his promise. He, he seems like a nice man, but he makes Parappa very nervous. Parappa and Sonny arrived at Club Fun and saw a poster with a huge picture of Parappa. He knows that he'll throw an amazing performance because all he has. All he has to do is nothing but believe. And there he is. There's King Kong Mushi, and there's Parappa, and the crowd going, yay! Hey! And Parappa performing. Oh my god. And Parappa is a superhero with a frog signal. And, then, and that's how Parappa became the hip hop hero. The end. And the back has Boxy Boys. Well, so that was. My take of, of Parappa the Rapper in the form of a children's book. Like, the reason why I did this for you guys on the channel was because I would love to play the game. Like, actually, I would like to stream Parappa the Rapper um, one day, but I have no idea how to. I have it on the PSP, and I have no idea how to record it or, or how to stream it. So, so I just thought I'll just narrate the story of all that happened so it's basically all one it's it's a whole gameplay in one book and yes it's i remember i wanted to see if i could contact uh, those two guys to see if they liked the book but it's just a hobby that i did like it's just a hobby i'm not selling it because i would get into trouble if i do but i just did it because I thought it would be cute if, if Parappa the Rapper was turned into a children's book. So tell me in the comment section below what you think of the story and what you think of the art. And and there's going to be a lot more Parappa anything on the channel. I'm even thinking about doing a Parappa Top 10 pretty soon. So I'm very, very excited about that. And 
And also, sister location is coming this week. Ooh, yes. So, but if you really like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to hop aboard the alpaca bandwagon, subscribe. And if you didn't like it, I'm sorry. I tried my buzz. And follow me at LiveFoxyTars on Twitter and Twitch because I'm on Twitter 24 7. And at Twitch, I visit live streams, so be sure to say hi. And I visit live streams on YouTube too. So, and I host live streams on Twitch. But this was Livy. This has been Live Next. I'll see you next time, my friends. See ya! You gotta believe! <laughs>